Hey there YouTube, I'm you can see this is the Times, welcome to my channel, welcome back to Polybridge. So I'm doing another one of these right away, just because I've been actually trying to... I, I kind of want to beat this. It's one of those sort of addicting things where you get into it and you just kind of... You get into a groove and you want to finish it. Like, um... You, you just don't want to put it down, because it's... I, you, everyone, each one of these is like really quite simple, so it takes like a few minutes to figure it out, and maybe a few tries if it's a particularly difficult one. But you sort of get into this sort of thing where you beat one and you just think, okay, well, I'll just do one more, and then one more turns into like two more, and then two more turns into like five more, and etc. etc. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what this game is like, and that's why I'm playing more of it, so. We should be done relatively quickly. I believe there's something like 30 or so missions, 36 missions, I believe is what I was told. So hopefully we'll get through this relatively quickly because I don't want it to be taking away too much time from my other series, but this is one that I think is pretty fun. It's just something that I like doing. It's like, it's like Legos. I mean, there's also Lego World that I could be playing, but I kind of actually have Legos, so I don't particularly feel need to play that one so much. Okay, um, do I need to actually put bracing on the bottom one here, or is this actually going to be sufficient to hold it up? I'm kind of curious. This might not be enough weights. Yeah, I figured. So we do need to have additional bracing here. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. I'm terrible at getting things right in the middle of things. All right, there we go. As you can see. And I mean, I wonder if it would be worthwhile pushing that up there. Let's see if that uh, adds any stability. Oh, this is actually, I think the problem is that this is outright just too much uh, length here. So it's actually, hmm. How much budget do I have left? It's quite a lot. All right, let's go like this. Why can I not do that? Is it because there's a um, cable there? All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of these. Okay. And let's see if I can just actually go straight up to these like this. And... Or do I have any metal? I do have some steel, okay. So I should probably be holding that up with steel there. I've got two available, so that sort of works perfectly for this. And there's probably a different way to use that steel more effectively, but I think that that is actually going to work just fine. And with that, let's see how that affects this. A lot of tension along this bottom one here, but it does actually work. Okay, perfect. I did not uh, realize I had steel there. I got another drawbridge here. Okay, so this one's gonna be a little bit tricky because the... Like, I wonder if I have any road left. It is unlimited road. Oops. So I could try to actually get over this thing. But that is going to cost a lot more in terms of, like, how much road I'm using. See, so if I go like this... Then I don't have to drawbridge it. Uh. All right, so I wonder if I can get away with not using hydraulics. That would be kind of hilarious. Um, you know, I kind of feel like actually no. This would probably be simpler if we actually did use a drawbridge here. So let's, let's actually use the drawbridge. Let's do this the way I think that they want us to do it. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if they want us to do the thing that we tend to do when we've got bridges like this and go under it, but that's what we're going to do again. So... There we go. So this is all pretty standard, simple stuff here. And we'll go ahead and... Do the exact same thing under the bottom here. It's sort of Darth Vader-y honeycomb style pattern. 
All right, and we'll have the hydraulics pull from the bottom. And we'll see if that works. We'll also go ahead and get ourselves some support up top here. That looks uh, crooked. There we go. And how much have we got? We got lots left. Okay. Oops. All right. I think I got one of those crooked. Yeah, this one looks a bit crooked, but that's fine. Okay. We want trusses there. All right, I think that should be good. Let's see how this works. This all seems relatively stable. There's a little bit of a wobbling when it sort of first turned on, but it doesn't look like anything too, too bad. Oh, that hasn't uh, opened quite enough, so I need to move those. That's kind of funny. It just clipped one of them. That's kind of funny. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and... Let's move these over this way, like this. I only really need to move the one, but... Okay, I think I want these like that. Maybe even more like this. Okay, let's give it a try. Doesn't seem to have changed the strain too, too much on the overall frame, which is good. We're still way over under budget, so if I have to, I can still change this quite a bit. And this looks like it's opened enough this time. I'm still not sure if they want me to be putting the bridges so that they go downwards, but that seems to be what works. Alright, there we go. There's a little bit of strain on there when that thing clips open, so I think those hydraulics are not necessarily the best uh, support, but... Yeah, 59.9. That's pretty good, actually. Alright, perfect. 42 meter suspension bridge. Okay, well, this is... This is unpleasant. Okay, do we actually need... Holy jeez, this is long. Okay, do we actually need... No, we don't actually need any sort of uh, opening here in the middle, so that helps. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get some metal up here. Some people from my D&D group asking me some questions there. We're going to ignore them for now because we're jerks. But, uh, you know, let's not worry about that right now. Alright, so I think this is how they typically want you to do suspension bridges. Let's see here. Suspension. How does this work? Uh-huh. Okay. I don't actually know how to build suspension bridges. Like, this is not something that I really understand the principle behind all that well. I think it has something to do with, like, load distribution, obviously, but um, I'm not sure how this distributes the load. Um, I don't think that I'm supposed to have cable here. Let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and actually use that. Do I need to reinforce between here? I think I do. Let's go like this because I don't feel like that's stable enough by default. Can I actually do like that? I don't think that actually helps any. Okay, so. Once you've got the suspension hung up like that though, I think you're supposed to use cable. And I think that this is how you do it. You want uh, multiple connection points though, so I think that's right. It's like stitching. Okay. Hopefully, this is right. This doesn't look right at all. Okay, let's uh, go with uh, like this again. Looks kind of right, I think, maybe. I wonder if I can sort of do this or something like that. I wonder if that helps at all. Nope, that just falls right over. 
ball. Okay, so this is going to be tough for me because I don't know how these work. Okay, so I'm kind of wondering how this is like anchored here because it doesn't seem like this is actually held up in any sort of way, shape, or form. So, I mean, if there was something over here, this would make a lot more sense to me. this from the tutorial ladder is part of the problem. Okay, let's lower these, I think. Okay, let's not, let's not bend them. Um, we'll get rid of that for now. Make so I can do this. I guess I have to get rid of the suspension. Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's not good. Okay, there we go. Okay. The problem with suspension is it's not about triangles in the same way that other things are. Alright. I wonder if I could actually just use steel to get across here like this, or if that's like way above budget. That's going to be probably putting me way above budget if I try to do it that way. That looks, uh, that's not feasible. So how am I supposed to get, oops, how come I can't create any more, oh right, okay. Let's go, uh, back here, 14 meter suspension bridge. Alright, so, this is unfortunate, but I'm kind of starting from, right from the beginning again. Okay. I think there was a there's a bug on suspension if I recall correctly, so. Let's go ahead and lower this down to here. Okay, we're gonna try and just strengthen up these uh, support struts that we're going to make here. Um, you know, we could just make these lower, I think. I don't think we just have to make them quite as tall. like that. Let's see how that works. So this should be like a lot sturdier than our previous one, just uh, in these areas here. Alright, I wonder if I can get this a little bit higher. Looks like I can. A little bit higher here. Okay, and then I want this up here. All right, let's just let's give this a try. Now the problem is I'm, you know, let's just try it like this. Oops, not suspension, it's cable. Let's just try it like this, okay? Let's not try anything fancy this time. Let's just try it like that and uh, see how that works so that there's less uh, lateral tension because I think that was the problem here. I bet it works if I go like this because I don't want it to be pulling inwards quite as much as it was last time is the thing. Okay, so we went like this. Okay, so let's try to see how that works. Nope, that falls right apart as well. Hmm. I'm not sure what I need to do to make that stay stable there. I wonder if I could do this. I'm gonna actually just try to see if I can afford to do this this way. I might be able to actually. Okay, so this is probably a lot of weight, but yeah, it's too much weight. It's still pulling inward too much. So I'm wondering, like, what am I supposed to be doing to anchor these uh, side points here? Keeping. I need something that keeps this thing stable here pushing outward on this thing. Let's try doing it like this. I think 
problem is that it's like I don't have much I can use to support this or anchor this with. I don't feel this is right, but what can you do? support struts, I think, on our standing towers here, because I don't think the problem was down there. Alright, so that gives us enough budget. actually sensible here what I've done but let's go ahead and give it a try how much else can I delete I want to get just under budget here hmm well let's uh, try deleting these that should be just enough nope not quite one more basically hmm to be really quite tricky. Okay, well, we'll try deleting like that and uh, see how much stress there is. It's still tons. Okay, so the thing is, like, this thing clearly is just not helping. Okay, so I have to restart this again to the suspension again. Uh, I forgot to do the thing that was recommended to me, but okay, let's go ahead and so what do I hang the suspensions off of, or what do I use to brace that? Okay, so the thing is, I do need something here as, as suspension. And let's go ahead just like this, that doesn't really matter just too much, since I think that it was fine when I went like this. I don't know if I have to have that one. That doesn't make uh, a lot of sense, actually. Okay. So that should be fine. Let's go ahead like this. Okay, so that should be structurally sound. And then we do the same over here. Now, I think what we are going to have to do is use some wooden struts here. And, uh... Put the suspension up off of that. How low does this have to be before I can actually do that? I don't think I can. Okay, so let's... Maybe use steel? Make sure this is the right height here. I think that is actually about the right height. Okay, so we, we've got that. Let's try laying up the suspension. Oh, I forgot the... Okay. It's saying to use suspension, but I wonder if I can just do this using wood. That would be so hilarious if I could. Okay, cable. Okay. 
that should be a little bit better than what we had last time, I think. Now, I still feel like we need something coming up from here. That's only two, so that's a little bit easier. Save a little bit on budget by stapling that along the side with the wood instead of metal, I think. I wonder if that helps. I'm not sure. It looks wonky as shit. Still got some budget left over, but let's see how that works. Ooh, that does not look good. Okay, I just don't understand suspension. Clearly. Like, I already said I don't understand suspension bridges. Like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be anchoring these onto. Well, we beat it. And it's only 71.8% stress, that's kind of funny to me. I feel like there's something else that needs to be added that's rigid. Drawing grid toggle. Okay, well, I actually don't mind the uh, grid, so let's not worry about that. So this is another jump. Okay. Well, this seems pretty simple. Why is there a cable here? Oh, I think I know why. This actually has got... What am I supposed to anchor that to on this side, though? This is about as much as you can actually do with this one. Hmm, that's not good. Alright, let's see how well those cables hold. Nope, they just immediately fall over. Oh, what? And there's two cars, actually. I did not notice that car B on the other side over there. Okay, so clearly I need to make two jumps. That's really weird. is a little bit of a head-scratcher. So, one side has to get three, obviously. Hmm. No, these have to be braced on something, so... See how well these hold up. Nope. That bracing just does not work. Under budget. This one's going to be a real head scratcher. I think it's because I'm zoomed out that everything looks like it's uh, not working quite as, as it should be. Um, wonder if I can actually. Let's ignore that for a second there. Can I anchor this cable directly to there? I can. Okay. 
So is the problem that the cable stretches? I'm wondering if this cable is going to stretch too much. I'm going to check the strain on this first before I worry about it too much. Okay, so that actually does work. Let's stop the simulation here. So we don't want the cars hitting each other like that, so we need to adjust these so that they're jumping at different angles or whatever, but we also have to get rid of a tiny bit of wood, which I don't like, but let's get rid of that. I think that we can get away with that. So which one do we want to be jumping over the other? I feel like this side has to jump over side A, but side A looks like it should be actually getting more momentum, so actually we should be getting side A to be jumping higher. So let's, we could go like, um, well, let's, uh, let's see which one is jumping higher currently. Okay, so that actually does break it, so I do need that piece of wood there. Um, and I don't think I can get away with removing anything there. That's so disappointing. Um, well, let's run it this way and again just see what I'm doing on angles here. So that's dead on with the one on the left being a little bit higher. What we're going to do is we're going to make this one the taller one, though. This one we're going to have jump really quite high. We're going to do that by starting at a lower angle here. Okay. What we want to do is sort of scoop upwards. Okay. This is probably why it wants the grid off as an option, so that I can sort of more freely move around here. Because they were saying that. Okay, so we want this to sort of dip down low and then come back up. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, and this one... We need it to sort of immediately go up, so like that, that should be fine. But this one... Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to clear bridge B over here. We need it to be a little bit lower, a little bit more scoop-like. need to sort of go down and then up. Okay. now, but let's give this a check to see if this uh, in principle works. Nope, that's head-on collision. This is going to be tricky. Okay, let's scoop that up a little bit more. Now, I might be able to eventually... get this curled up enough that I can actually go like that. Okay, that's interesting, actually. That's an interesting result. Okay. And I might be able to actually strain by putting it there instead. Let's find out if that helps. No, nope, that breaks it. Okay, so it does actually have to be to back here. And that's a lot of tension on it. Ooh, that doesn't even clear the jump anymore. Hmm. And I'm still over budget. I don't, uh, I don't really get that. This one is going to probably drive me mad. Alright, fantastic. Well, challenge accepted. Let's try lowering this a little bit. You can see that that also lowers the budget, so that's the thing, I guess. Okay, so which one had to go higher? This one, I think, has to go a little bit higher. And this one has to go a little bit lower. Oh, wow. Okay. This has to stay up, so that the tension on that is correct. Yep. Okay. I think what we need to do is focus on getting one car across the jump and then get the other one across, so we're going to ignore all this for now. 
and we're just going to figure out how we can get this one so that this one's getting across. I think that is the smart idea, how to approach this. Okay, so we need to make this stop uh, smashing apart while it's uh, doing whatever it's doing here. Let's get rid of all of that again. I didn't realize that at first, because I wasn't really paying attention. But let's see if how that holds up compared to what it was before. Okay, so that practically clears the thing by itself, so... I think the key to this was actually shortening those. Okay. So we need this one to go up, like, quite a bit. We need to... Actually, no, because we need... This one to be steeper, I think, is the thing. I don't really know here, this is tricky. I did know this game did get harder as you, like, went on. This is kind of a sudden shock, though. Alright, let's, uh, lower these a bit. Alright, so... This isn't quite strong enough either, so that's a problem. But uh, let's see if we can adjust these ramps just a little bit. That one had to be tall. This one can be quite short though, I think. Alright. Almost. That was very close. Okay, so... Uh, wait, which was going over which? I think it was the right one was going over the left. Yep. Okay, so in this case, since this one's going over, we can try and reduce the height of this one a little bit. Let's see if that works. Okay. Need to lower the angle of this one a little bit and increase it on this one a lot. And we'll see if that works. See if we can... See if we can switch around which one's going higher. Okay, that sort of works, but we need to get this one up a little bit more now. Just a little bit more. Nope, that makes them crash head on. Um, man. Okay, that'll probably get them to crash head on, but... Hmm. Which one do I want over the other? Okay, so let's try and get B over A. So we'll go like that. I don't know if this will let uh, be clear A, but not quite. Okay, no, it was easier the, way, the other way I had it around, so. This is just gonna be lots of fine-tuned adjusting. All right, that wasn't clean, but it worked. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Um, this is interesting. I'm not sure if this is the best way to do this, but I feel like this will probably be okay. not quite directly above them, but it's close enough, I think. Alright, so we need hydraulics pulling on these things from that. We're already over budget. Okay, so clearly we cannot actually use this much steel. So, let's get rid of all this. Do I have, do I have suspension? No, I don't. Because what I want to do is get this area in the middle here with enough, um, 
strength that it's held up there. I've got cable though. Can I cable that way? here with this. This is going to be over budget again um, pretty badly, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. Okay, well, we already know that we need this, what we got here. Actually, I think I do need these steel beams like this. I think I do. I need the central part to be stable somehow. Like, I don't know if this is going to work. Let's try give it, let's give this a try. Let's just see how stable this is. That's not very. But, uh... Okay, let's get rid of all of this. I wonder if I can make a wood structure over top that would support it. on for this part. Hmm, damn it. Okay, so I've done something strange here. Okay, yeah, I've done something very strange here. Let's go like this. I don't think this is right way to do this, to be honest. I'm just getting that sort of vibe out of what I'm doing here. actually, but looks reasonable does not mean actually is functional. designed to work like that. So let's go like this. Let's get a little bit of steel here. And a little bit of cable. I think this might help in some abstract way. Um, Alright. So, wish me luck everybody. Because I don't think this is how this is supposed to work. Yeah, it's a lot of strain on it because it is such a long bridge. Looks like it gets across. I am over budget by quite a hideous amount though. So we'll have to figure out where we can cut our budget here. And that'll close down and then I'm gonna end up getting my second chance at this. Okay, so the, nothing changed, so this should get across no problem. 
can see a lot of strain everywhere, but it looks like I can get rid of some of the stuff in the center. So let's go ahead and play again. Oops, that's not what I want here. Let's get rid of this. Okay, that's worth quite a bit. Let's get rid of this and see if... I don't know if that was actually helping any. Okay, so that was quite a bit of money's worth. So let's actually add back in... Or let's give this a check. I don't think this is going to hold. Yeah, I didn't think it was. So I do need to... Do this, I think. Let's see if that helps. Nope, that causes it to just fall straight down. Okay. And I'm still over budget. Jeez. Okay, let's get rid of this. And let's add in these again. Okay, I think... Let's check how much stress there is. A whole ton. But it gets across. Okay, so this is the bare minimum to get across. Falls over when I actually activate that, and I'm still over budget. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is, uh, we're going to lower these, and we're going to lower all of these. Oh man, I'm gonna have to redo this, aren't I? Yes, I am. Okay. So what we're just going to do is make these lower triangles. Like, we're still going to make these triangles here, but we're going to lower them down to the ground here a bit. Because this will save us on material cost. So we just barely need to clear this, so I can even go a little bit lower potentially, but let's uh, leave that as is for now. Uh, something like over there. Or let's do it like this. So I think this helps with the budget quite a bit. It's just uh, doing the same thing, but sort of compressing it down. Let's hope for the best. Okay, so that's left us with a bit of money. again now. Hmm, where can I get rid of some of this? Can I get rid of that? I feel like I can. I mean, what would happen if I didn't... What would happen if I tried it like this? the hydraulic numbers by having this part lift straight up. Oops. Right. Okay, so those steel beams I need still. again, but let's give this a check. Oh, wow. I can't even build a basic bridge anymore. Hmm. Is it because I needed this? Does that make a big difference there? Oh, and these. Jesus. Okay, so we're way over budget again now. And I can't. Okay, so shortening those actually seems to have changed the load makeup again. But I think that this might be an interesting way to try this. I think we're going to give this a try. Okay, so we're going to go with this. So those are going to provide us with a lot of the sort of staying power of this particular bridge. And we need... No, 
that's not going to work quite like that. Um, what I'm trying to do here is get a sort of uh, thing over here so that'll lift this up. Actually, wait a minute. I can build a ramp, I think. No, let's not do that, though. I think we'll try and do this the way they probably want us to do this. I have no real conception as to what they want us to do here, though. Uh, maybe if we made it like that. Okay, so that's quite a bit of our budget blown there already. Sturdy rigidness over in the middle. Get that like that. Okay, well, we can use cable, that means. Nope, that just falls right over. Okay. Maybe if I use metal for this top thing. This is a very silly design, by the way. from getting too much pressure along it. Yeah, so apparently, like, the problem is that these things have, like, rotation points here, like, along every yellow spot here, so wherever that's happening, um, I'm getting rotation, and it just sort of s slips over. So that doesn't seem to work all that well. So let's try this again. But... Let's try, let's see what I can get away with with the, no, I can't do this. Oh really. well, yeah, I can. So we can go like this. No, let's go like this. Okay, we're over budget if we do it that way, so I'm trying to do. Man, this is going to take me forever. Shorten this. Like, a lot. This would work so much smoother if I could have, like, rigid pieces of metal instead of these ones with these pivot points in the middle here. But, uh... Like, I get the feeling like they're giving me this much because that means I'm supposed to be able to do it with the amount. Or it could just be being generous to make it a little bit easier for me. Oh. Hmm. So it's definitely not that that's the solution. This is the first time I've really felt confused by what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay. Let's try it like this, but then we'll move on to wood. Let's 
get these cables attached here regardless. I feel like that is going to definitely be something I want. Let's get a little bit more wood here, I feel. Actually, no, let's put the hydraulics in and see what happens. Oh yeah, so I do need a wooden strut here. Hydraulics to be attached to. At the very least. This is gonna be so weird looking, but you can see there's too much strain on it probably, but I think it can get across. What I'm wondering is if the suspension nope, cannot hold that. Okay, so what we need to probably do is do that maybe? This was just way over budget. We're like already way over budget anyway, but uh Wow, is this ever difficult. Okay, we can get rid of those. Okay. being pulled apart when the hydraulics start going because there's too much tension pulling this outwards. So I need something that keeps it. I think this actually will help significantly with that. I can lean these forward. Okay, let's see how bad this is. So I should be able to get across. There's a lot of tension there, and I'm way over budget here. Nope, that still breaks, but breaks at the top. Oh man. The problem is it's also pretty early in the morning, so I'm kind of tired, so that's my excuse. Okay. I wonder if, I, I get the feeling like that's not the way I should be doing this. I should probably be figuring out a way to either pull back more at the same time, maybe. I wonder if you can rotate more. I don't actually know if you can. Let's find out. Okay, so. Can do it like this and it shouldn't actually matter as so long as I don't connect in the middle there. Is this going to go over budget? I think this will go over budget if I actually do it like that, so we'll erase those for now. I need these again. the hydraulics to pull up. Alright, so let's do it like this, I feel. Okay, let's see how this actually does. Okay, so there's plenty of tension on it, but it's barely holding out. That's all I need for this test thing. Let's see where the pivot point is. Oh, you can do the whole thing. That simplifies things dramatically. I didn't know it was going to pivot where it was pivoting. That makes me feel kind of like an idiot. All right, and that's gonna get across no problem. There's like plenty of stress on it, but I mean, it's fine. Huh, 
Wow, that made me feel stupid. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> We're trying to jump a monster truck over a 42-foot balloon. Okay, well... Obviously. Okay. Um... I wonder... Okay, no, we're going to try and make this... We're going to make this clean jump all the way across over to the end. Let's see if we can do that. So, we need to start off sort of swooping low. We need to get up that speed. But then we need to sort of ramp it right up there. And that is not an appropriate angle for that. Um... how we're going to make this stable. Um, we got some steel here, so we can go like this. And we can get some cable here. So that'll help, I think. I get the feeling this is not how I'm supposed to be doing this, like, at all. figure out how bad this is. Yeah, let's figure out how bad this is, because I'm assuming it's just going to fall right over. Yeah, it just falls right over. Okay, so the problem here is that... I wonder, actually... You know, I'm going to try something stupid here. Um, let's get the road, and let's get it... see if we can do that. We're going to see if we can rest that on top of the balloon. Okay, I can't probably do anything with that. What I can probably do is make a triangle there. Run a cable to here. Actually, I could probably just run a cable to there. Anyway. And what this is going to do is it's going to provide strain pulling in the opposite direction of this cable. And hopefully it's going to do is what's going to happen is this road... I wonder, can the rest... road? No, if the road goes straight. I was hoping that the road rested on top of the water balloon. That would have been amazing, but... Uh, Alright, let's delete all that. I'm wondering if I can actually make a freestanding road all the way out there without it uh, being a problem, or if I have to do some sort of weird thing where it jumps up over the balloon and lands on something else on the other side. Because it's kind of looking like that might be the case. Like, I'm wondering if this is about... I'm wondering how far I can actually make this go. And then maybe I have to make a stable landing platform on the other side for it. And that looks like that's kind of what they've set it up for. But I think that those um, monster trucks are quite heavy.
Okay, let's see if this is enough for it to stay standing. Not quite. I'm thinking that wood might not be sufficient for that, so what we're going to do is add some steel. At the base here. Okay, so my game crashed, which means that I lost some progress, which means we're back here. I think I was over budget when I did this as well, so let's give that a check. But uh, yeah, it said I didn't beat this level, so we're back here. Um, what we needed to do was give it to uh, go there, and to get across like this, and even like this. Okay, then we also needed a little bit of this. And I think we might have been over budget last time as well, so we'll try and avoid that if possible this time. We'll see. This one I bet I could fix any budgetary problems just by squishing down these uh, trusses. Okay, let's try and get this over to here. Okay, how are we doing on budget? Looks like we're okay so far. Okay, we are a little bit over budget, so let's just uh, shrink these down a little bit. Let's... These down here. Let's get you down here as well. on these. Um, okay, so the problem is that this does increase the amount of strain that everything's under, and it still looks like I'm over budget. Okay, so it's quite a bit off if I reduce those. So, you can see that does really increase the amount of strain on these, but it looks like it's still going to be okay. Oh! Something just snapped there. I'm not sure what caused that snap, but it just happened on this side. So maybe if that's uh, because these are not straight. I think perfect triangles are important for this sort of thing. All right, let's give it another shot. You can really see that load bearing uh, on it. And that strain when it moves is also quite high. Yeah, something is causing that snap. It's uh, just really smacking into it. What is causing this? I don't see a difference here on this side as compared to the other. Hmm. Man, trying to do this one under budget is a pain. Let's see if we can figure out where that strain is. It looks like it's on the road itself. Okay, maybe... The problem is where the hydraulic is going to. Let's try sending them to there instead and see if that helps any. Nope, that uh, means I don't have enough... short, but I don't have enough budget to fix that if it is. Okay, let's try increasing the height of this one just a tiny bit. It does seem that the weight distribution is a little bit different on these. Okay, now this one is uh, breaking, so it is a height thing. Okay, so let's reduce the height of this even a little bit more. Let's increase it a little bit here to there and uh, see if we can reduce these down just a little bit. Okay, that might increase the strain too much on these, but I think we had to increase the height of these. That does seem to be the problem here. Okay, so we need to increase the height on that one just a little bit more even. Okay, and we're above budget again. 
but let's uh, reduce this just a tiny bit. Try it like that. So there's a lot of tension on these just because we keep shortening these triangles, and yeah, it's a little bit too much to bear. Okay, and we're still over budget, actually. Great. Okay, uh, I wonder if we could do it by shortening up those hydraulics. Having them attach here. This is probably gonna cause it to fall down right there, yeah, it's because it's not center enough. Okay. Hmm. Where can we cut costs? That's always the question, isn't it? Um, well, I don't feel like we necessarily need as much of that there because of uh, where it's being held up by the hydraulics. Oh, shoot. And I think this had to go up one taller anyway. Oh, that's uh, not good. Okay. and I used cable instead, would that save me any money? I wonder if that works. Yes, there's a lot of tension on that cable back there. That broke, because these are too short still, I guess. It does seem to be that when these are short, they uh, tend to break more easily. See, the load helps, uh, it helps with the load a lot more if it's like that. Okay, you can see the cable is just like really straining, but this looks like it's working, and that looks like it did save us a lot of money. So the cables work instead of the steel beam there. Okay, so that reduced the cost by a lot. I'll have to keep that in mind in the future when anchoring uh, those steel beams. And this is going to get just across barely. Okay, so now we did it and we're under budget. We got max joint stress of 94.4%, which is ridiculously high. Okay, but this gives us some inf interesting information for this one, because now we know that we can go like this, and uh, then we can go like this with the cable here instead of using another steel beam, and that will help us out quite a bit, I suspect. Okay, so I think this is enough to clear the air balloon all we really need to do. The weight from this is quite high, so I mean, I'm going to try and do it... I think I, think I need to do it from here. There we go. Hmm, I don't think I want one there, actually. there either. Oops, I want one there, not there. Okay, and we want all these cables here. And some wood. It's always hard to do the wood on these ramps properly. a shot and see if this holds up. That looks really sturdy, actually. Uh. Alright, well. I, 
feel like we could actually probably go all the way. Like, it doesn't matter for breaks for the stunt ones, in my opinion. Okay, and we'll use another cable up here. Oh, nope, that's too much stress. Okay. Okay, so that becomes too much strain on this uh, cable back here. And we're over budget. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, let's uh, go ahead and we'll delete one road segment's worth. And we'll delete this again, and um... Alright, looks like that just barely holds up. Oh! So close. So close. Okay, we're almost there, actually. That's pretty impressive to me. Um... Alright, how do we want to do this? Okay, so I need to get just a little bit more distance, but I don't think I need quite as much air. Like, the air time is not necessary, I don't feel. So let's try moving that down like that. I don't actually want that cable attached that way, I want it attached to the road, I think. Let's see how that changes things. Looks a little bit steadier, actually. Interesting, but that seems to have been even less distant, so apparently I do want the air. The problem was that it broke, and when it did, it actually um, seems to have uh, knocked out its trajectory a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring all this all the way down. No. Okay, so I actually do need to use this cable here, it looks like. budget now, but we could probably delete this. I don't think this is going to hold even remotely. Okay. That's so close. That's so close. Probably feels closer than that really is. Okay, so we're gonna delete this section here, and the reason that we're doing that is because I get the feeling like I definitely cannot actually clear this um, whole thing. What I need to do is have it land on something and then continue on. See, so if it had just a little bit of a lip there, I feel like I could have made it across there. So what we're going to do is take our last little bits of road here, and we're going to have it try and just gently catch it. Um, oh god, starting to hit that lag here, it means my hard drive is getting full. Um, well, what we actually want to do is increase the length of the road just a tiny bit more, and what we want to do is have it just like right over that red dot. Oh, damn. This actually has to be sturdy enough to catch a car, so... Can't really skimp out too much on the resources here. Because catching a car, not an easy thing. Okay, so we're just under budget. Let's see how this goes. That buckles immediately. Fantastic. Flips, and... Oh. Ah, oh, that felt good. That felt really good. All right, so we got a 16 meter overpass here. Um, yeah, I don't particularly see this why, why this would be harder than any of the other ones we've been making, so. Oh, we can't make a split here. This is an overpass in the sense that it's, um, right, what does an overpass mean, moron? Right, okay. Uh, right there. Wait, what? Can I? What? What's going on here? Okay, so we just have to get a very exact amount there. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this again. This actually seems to be quite good. How much do we 
have budget-wise for this? We've got 24,000, so that's pretty uh, high, actually, considering what we're doing here. such a hard thing to do the first time because I am bad at figuring out what is actually straight or not. It makes it really awkward at bars. Anyway, okay, I know the problem here is that uh, this one's actually further because it's this sort of apex one. So I guess I have to do it like this. Rid for that to look proper, but actually, I don't know. I kind of feel like that is actually quite a lot of support, but let's give us a go. It's kind of ugly looking, so I didn't worry too too much about whether or not it was on straight. But I mean, Here comes the boat. Oops. Okay, so I kind of made that just a little bit too short then, apparently. There we go. Okay, and I know it was hitting on both sides, so I kind of have to do this on both sides, but it's not letting me. Let's get rid of all this for now. up while we're at it, but let's go ahead and just delete the whole road here, just because I need to try and figure out how to get it exactly going over this without any of the problems. Yeah, so that's going to be an issue, isn't it? So, I think, I hope that's just barely high enough. Um, this is a, bit like, a little bit like stitching, it feels like. All right. Not exactly even here, but who cares? Okay, Let's see if this uh, boat will just barely clear under this. Okay, good. Uh, it clipped through it, but whatever. Okay, now the challenge is this heavier car here, but we still got 5,000 to try and make the uh, bridge reinforced if it's not enough, but that one, that one feels really easy considering what the last one was. Like, that last one was really tough. Oh, this is weird. Alright, so we need to get both the cars up to here, with the lower one going up first. Okay, so we'll try and figure this out first. This is simple enough. So this one just goes across as normal. Then we have to have this one able to go across. So. I get the feeling like if we go like something like this, maybe. 
or whatever uh, we can what we can do is we can have this uh, road split down and move from here down to here. Okay, so we can do it like this. I don't know if that's enough clearance for this first guy. Okay, so let's get a triangle like that there. We'll put a split here. That should work there, okay. And what we or no, we don't want the we don't want the support beam to be there. We want it to be somewhere else because this has to rotate. Or I don't want the split to be there, do I? I don't want a split actually. What I want is for this to pivot somewhere. So I don't actually need a split anywhere. Because that seems to be how this works, is that it can rotate at these joints, so. Okay. What I need is in this thing pulling down on this, and I need to figure out where I want it to rotate at. So if I have it set there, it should rotate. I could probably make it rotate wherever the hell I want it to, actually. But okay, so that should be rigid there, but we'll reinforce it just a little bit here because it's going to be moving. So I'm not sure if this will be able to move past this stuff elegantly or not, but... Okay. So I need something that will keep this whole thing stable, though. The best way to do that is with steel beams here. Okay, so I think it can still rotate at this joint over there. Let's see how this works. Okay, so this first one can just barely get across. Okay, so that goes too far and then breaks the bridge. So how do I control how far this goes? Because I don't want it to go that far. I think the way I have to do it is just control where this one's pulling to. So if I pull it to there, let's try that. Hmm. All right, let's see if this is light enough to land on this without breaking it. Does a backflip and does break it, okay. So. Because I don't want to split joint. I just want it to rotate. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, no, the problem is the weight bearing on this, actually, it looks like. Okay, that just gets pulled apart now. Okay, so I don't want this pulling from there, it looks like. Oops. So when this comes down, where do I want it to come down to? And do, how do I redo this joint so that it works properly? I mean, I can try this and reinforce it here. That feels sturdier. Let's try it like that, maybe. No, that feels like that's still gonna pull apart. I kind of still want to go like this, it feels like. But how do I control how far that goes down? See that? That worked out pretty well. That worked out fine. But how do I stop that from going all the way... <laughs> and then it just does that. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have the second guy jump. I I'm just gonna cheat here. Because... You know, why not? <laughs> Okay. And I can even go like this.
there. I'm che I'm cheating on this one. This is probably not how this was intended to be done, but. Hup. Oh well, okay. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, what? A crisscross, really? Okay, well, considering how the last one went, I don't think this is going to be going really any better. Like, I think the way you would do it is you would have it work like this. You would have to have a split of some sort. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out later, but, um... Yeah, for now, <laughs> I hope you found this episode enjoyable. I'll be looking at this for quite a while, but I hope you found this episode enjoyable, and of course, as always, I hope to see you all next time.